Memory loss can be devastating for an elderly parent or loved one, and it can affect the entire family. Today, we've got some good advice on how to best manage this very traumatic time. Losing your cell phone can also be a bit traumatic, but now there are ways to make sure all that personal data isn't gone forever. Plus, we're going to lighten things up. There are some great options for family vacations. I love those. And the balancing act begins right now. Where are we going? Alzheimer's and other dementias affect not just the elderly themselves, but family members as well. An estimated 5 million Americans over 65 suffer from cognitive and memory problems, with those numbers expected to grow dramatically over the next two decades. Joining us to discuss these sobering medical statistics and what's being done to improve the lives of those patients and their families is Jennifer Sheets, Senior Vice President, Clinical Operations with Gentiva Health Services, one of the nation's largest home health care providers. Welcome, Jennifer. So great to have you. Thank you. Well, this is a big issue, you know, and most Americans have have some understanding of Alzheimer's and dementia, but can you really define those conditions for me and how they may be different? Most people use dementia and Alzheimer's disease interchangeably, and they're actually very different things. Dementia is really a group of symptoms that affect things like reasoning and memory and the ability to perform activities of daily life. Alzheimer's disease is the number one type of dementia, affecting about 60 to 70 percent of patients that suffer with the dementia. Most people don't realize that Alzheimer's or dementia is the sixth leading cause of death in people over the age of 65. I did not realize that. And I read that caring for someone with Alzheimer's or dementia can be extremely difficult for caregivers. Tell me about that. Well, if you think about it, the, the patient is not going to remember every time they forgot your name. They're not going to remember when they got agitated or they yelled at you. The caregivers remember every minute. They remember every detail of trying to care for their loved one as they're watching them slip away right in front of them. It's very difficult. One of the biggest things that caregivers struggle with is depression. Mm -hmm. And actually about 70% of caregivers end up with some signs and symptoms of clinical depression. Wow, that's sobering, just to think about that. But so along with the stress that these caregivers have, dementia seems to add a layer of complexity also. Oh, absolutely. If you take just a patient with a congestive heart failure or a COPD, and normal symptoms would be things like shortness of breath or edema and swelling, and you layer in a dementia or a, a memory impairment, and now you have things like increased risk of falls, mm. safety concerns, nutritional concerns because the patient may forget to eat or in later stages not be able to eat. Dementia and memory loss adds an entire level of complexity to any disease process. And you're associated with an organization that provides memory care in home and elsewhere, right? Absolutely, and I'm so proud to be a part of Gentiva Health Services. As one of the nation's largest providers of home health and hospice services, we're one of the first companies to invest on a national level in a memory care program. We did that because we see over 110,000 patients a day and we have seen the effects of Alzheimer's disease and dementia and that saw it as a true need that we felt like we could meet. For the caregivers struggling to care for a loved one with those memory losses, what are the resources out there that are available? Hospice care for one mm -hmm. in advanced stages. Um, it's important to realize that although your loved one may not be eligible for hospice initially, there are other resources out there. Gentiva also provides home health community care, and we have a bridge program that helps us to help you figure out what settings right at what time. And in your opinion, what differentiates Gentiva from, from other companies out there? Our clinicians, no doubt. Um, Gentiva invests in their clinicians. They invest in specialized training for memory care, how to respond to that person when they're hitting a crisis state or they're agitated. Resources for the caregiver, that's huge. That mm. sets Gentiva apart. So we give a caregiver guide to the families to say, here's some triggers, here's some things to do to redirect. Caring for someone with Alzheimer's or some type of dementia can seem so overwhelming. What good news do you have for caregivers? I think the main thing is that they're not alone. I've been through this personally. I've cared for a loved one with Alzheimer's disease. It can be overwhelming. There is real help out there when you need it. And although a loved one may not be appropriate for hospice just yet, 
Gentiva offers home health and community care, and we have a bridge program that helps us transition your loved one to the right setting at the right time. Is memory care covered by Medicare? Any hospice service is covered by Medicare, Medicaid, and most commercial insurers. And as a part of that benefit, medications that are related to the hospice diagnosis, as well as supplies and equipment, things like briefs and wheelchairs and oxygen, specialty beds, all of that's a part of it. The other important thing to remember is that even though memory loss or dementia or Alzheimer's disease might not be your primary diagnosis, any patient that needs those services is going to receive those without additional charge. Well, that is good news. How can interested viewers find Gentiva in their area? At our website, Gentiva.com, there's a location finder and you can find the Gentiva closest to you. Thanks for shedding light on this very, very important topic. It's so great to have you in the studio. Thank you for having me. And if you'd like to learn more about today's discussion, visit us at thebalancingact.com or share with us your caring for elders experiences. Simply log on to Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act fans. I'll admit it, I can't go anywhere without my cell phone. In fact, I have it here with me right now on the set for this segment, but typically it really is not that far away, honestly. And I'll admit, I have been known to lose it, drop it in water, etc. and I know I'm not alone. Did you know 80 million people will have their cell phones either lost or stolen or damaged this year alone? And with that phone goes all their precious data and all their information. So here with some ways to protect our cell phones and all that's in them is Betty Colombo from Assurian. Hey, Betty, good morning. Hey, thanks for having me, Danielle. Thanks for being here with us. You know, it's funny, I rarely use my house phone anymore. I mean, I do everything with my cell phone, and I know many people who have actually ditched, Betty, their house phones altogether because cell phones really are that important in our lives. They really are. Your cell phone has become your photo album, your videographer, your scrapbook, your address book which makes the need to protect that phone and all that information really important. I absolutely agree. What's great too is you can get a really great phone, right? With the plan, of course, for under a hundred bucks. I love that, that's not a bad deal. It's a great deal, but consumers need to take a moment and really figure out the actual retail cost of that phone. I mean, the phone that costs $99, $129 could end up costing you 400, 600, up to $800 to replace. Especially if you're like me, you've got what, teenage girls, yes, I do. set of twins, also, and an 18-year-old, I've got three boys under 11, so I have the mobile protection plan. I have to tell you with my carrier, because I have a husband, right, who's always misplacing his phone. I have an 11-year-old who's always dropping his phone. I have two other young boys who love to play with mommy's phone. I need to be sure my phone is protected. And your family isn't alone. Statistics say that one in two people every month will misplace their phone and need to try to locate it. Mm -hmm. One in three crimes today involve a cell phone, and one out of four phones will end up being replaced each year. Wow. All right. So in the interest of full disclosure, I want to let you know that I have used a Shurion to protect my phone for years. This is long before I knew you were coming on the show. Um, so obviously I need it. And initially, I'm going to admit I was a little skeptical, Betty, because I thought, all right, so I'm going to pay this monthly fee. Here's my phone. I'm going to show you right now. You know, now brand new. This is a Samsung. What, about $500 brand new? For me, having the insurance coverage ends up covering any loss that I may have, right? And I think it's much less less. I know because I've used it than buying a new phone. Absolutely. Again, it's not the $99 you paid when you walked in the store. The right. actual cost is $549. Let's say for that phone, okay. you have it for 12 months, you have an insurance plan, a protection plan, you're paying $11 a month. At month 12, you need to file a claim. I think you're $132 in at that point. You pay your deductible, $150. You're only in, you know, for a couple of hundred dollars at that point, and it will save you $267 over the full retail price of that phone. And, you know, every little bit helps, especially if you have to replace it, let's say, more than one time, which I have had to do on occasion. It happens with kids, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. So talk about the data. What happens when your phone is stolen? I mean, what should you do? Because like you said, our lives are in these phones. You know, really one of the first things a consumer should do when they get their new phone is set the password. I mean, it sounds very simple but setting that password is your first line of defense. If you consider the insurance or the protection plan through your wireless carrier, many of them have apps as well that you can download your to your phone 
that will back up all your contacts, those pictures, the video of the wedding, oh, whatever great. it is on the phone, it will back it up. It can also help you locate it when it's, if you misplace it, you can sound an alarm if it's fallen in the couch cushion. So when you buy a protection product, you should think about 24 seven claim filing. Are you gonna get your phone the next day? All of this comes with the wireless carriers program. Now, do you have to be, Betty, with a specific carrier to get a Shurion? Mobile protection is available through all the major carriers. Girl, I have done it at 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay, been online, <laughs> filing that claim. I can't live without my phone. So I think at the end of the day, what you're saying is as soon as you get your phone, you should do this. I love this information. What is the takeaway? What would you like to leave our viewers with? So as a consumer, do your homework. Make sure you understand what the replacement cost is of the phone. You've done a lot of research to find the right phone, the right data plan. You need to protect it. All right. I love it. Thank you so much, Betty. Great to meet you. Thank you. My phone thanks you as well. <laughs> and to learn more about Asherion and how you can protect your cell phone, visit the website. It's Asherion.com. Balance. I don't know about you, but I always look forward to our annual family vacation. Each year we talk about where we're going to go and what we're going to do, and they can be so much fun to plan, and they're such a source of great memories. But did you know that over 500 million vacation days go unused each year in the U.S. alone? The good news is that it doesn't have to be that way. Joining me is Fiona Downing, Senior Vice President of Endless Vacation Rentals by RCI. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Julie. We're so glad you're here. This is such a fun topic. And you have so much experience, over 20 years of experience. And I want to ask you, right off the bat, why do we find that so many people, especially in the United States, don't take their vacation days? Well, I think we all just get too busy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're busy managing work and home, and uh, and you know, even planning a vacation can be can be a hassle, and so it becomes overwhelming, and so people just keep putting it off. But it's really important to take vacations, right? It absolutely is. It's um, it's the best way to to reconnect and spend time with your family and your loved ones. Um, in fact, 93% of kids, when they're asked what's the most important part of a vacation, is spending quality time with their parents. Oh, I love that. Love to hear that. Yeah, and uh, and you get a chance just to to relax and unwind and recharge your batteries, and then you're able to to deal with stress better. Um, you know, just handle life. And and many people. People actually, if they take a vacation every year, they're uh, they're more productive at work. That's for sure. I, I'm that way. Once I come back, I've, I have more focus. You're ready for ready action. For it. So how can people make sure they don't fall into that trap of of not? taking vacation time? Well, you have to really commit to making sure that you're going to take a vacation every year. Um, and that's one of the great benefits of vacation ownership or timeshare. Because you've invested up front, you're much more likely to make sure that you do take that vacation year after year. Um, there are 20 million timeshare owners around the world. And their satisfaction rates are really high. Here in the US, it's about 85%. And that's because they're the ones that are guaranteed a vacation. That's good to know. But you know, there are a lot of misconceptions about timeshare. Why do you think that is? There is. Um, a lot of that is um, it's from many years ago and it's for people who really don't know much about timeshare and don't own. Um, uh, today there are so many huge brands involved in timeshare. People that you would recognize like Disney and Hilton, um, Holiday Inn, Hard Rock, um, so many. And there's also thousands of independent smaller brands and all of them are really committed to making sure that you have quality accommodation and just a great vacation experience. The other big misconception is that when you buy timeshare, you have to go to the same place every year. Yes, I, right. and that's not, that's not the case. You can it, go different every year, Exactly, right? and with companies like RCI, um, we have access to over 4,500 affiliated resorts in 100 countries around the world, and so you can exchange your um, week of ownership with, a, with another place at another time of year. Fantastic. And we and also have a lot of great um, locations, and so um, some of the places that you would imagine, like like Orlando or Vegas, but you can also go to some more exotic destinations like Thailand or Brazil or the south of France. Now, talk to me about some of the benefits of uh, timeshare versus typical hotel stay vacations. Yeah. yeah, I think one of the biggest benefits is the size of the accommodations. Mm. So, you know, we've all been in that situation where you and your children and your husband are crammed into one, one bedroom in a, 
hotel. And, and they're going to sleep and you're like tiptoeing around. <laughs> exactly. So once they're asleep, especially when they're young, you know, what do you do? You're, you're so worried about waking them up. Whereas with timeshare, quite often you have multiple bedrooms, multiple bathrooms, you have a living area, a dining room, often a full kitchen. And so you can tuck the little ones in bed and then you can make dinner, just spend some time with your, with your husband and really, en really enjoy the vacation. Now that's a vacation. Exactly. <laughs> How can viewers learn more about how to take advantage of, of this great way to treat themselves to a vacation? Well, they can download our magazine. We have a magazine for iPad um, called Endless Vacation Magazine. It's one of the largest travel magazines in the world. Wow. And, uh, and if they do that, it's really interactive, very fun. So they can start exploring different destinations and really dream about where to go next. And then if they're ready to book, they can go to our website, which is um, endlessvacationrentals.com. Okay. And there they'll be able to choose from you know, thousands of timeshare properties around the world. And uh, we can book the whole package. So they can book a flight, a car rental, even a cruise. Oh my and gosh, non, one stop right there. You can exactly. do it all. And, um, and there's a lot of fabulous offers. So it's a really good way, um, low cost way, to try before they, they commit to buying. Okay, note to self, next time, endlessvacationrentals.com. I'm yep. going there. Perfect. Oh, thank you so much for coming in. Such a great treat to hear this information. Thank you. And if you want to learn more, log on to thebalancingact.com. You can also follow us on Facebook as well, and we love hearing from you. I think we're all ready to start the day now. What did you say? I say so. And today, you know, some days you just need that second cup of coffee. You want it? <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm on it. But first, we want you to check out our website, thebalancingact.com, for more information on all of today's topics. Sounds like a plan. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thank you so much for joining us today. And remember to find your balance. So long, everybody. Cream and sugar? Absolutely. Today. Okay.